welcome back to Geisa again. Yay! On this video is another Manchurian Crane skin gameplay because all of you, I think most of you, love this skin, right? I agree, this skin is beautiful both sides on the beauty form and also on the prashna form. So in the beginning of this rank, I met this perfume. That's not the perfect butterfly that I expected though because you need to throw to the body of the perfumer so in case they're gonna use that trick you know i'm gonna wait for the perfume right so they might go back to the to the first location so if they have the butterfly on their body it's gonna be easier for you to chase and take them down but well however it's still an early down for me but remember remember this guys never trust early down like i always say never trust early terror shock early down especially on small map like arms factory and also like red church which is i hate so much because you know the smaller the map gets it's gonna be easier for the survivor to rush the cypher faster so hmm good thing good thing there is this cypher with quite quite a good amount of you know cypher progress so let me just use abnormal first and just go back to this chair but hmm no tinnitus so perhaps they gotta go for the second rescue i was thinking hmm okay okay are they gonna go for the second rescue or maybe not gonna rescue at all hmm i'm not so sure two of the cypher that's waggling so fast is over there is kind of far and that one in the middle i already used abnormal but then enchanters is coming Okay, so this is my bet. I think I can do better if I hit Enchantress right away. So Enchantress might not charge more curse. Because at the end of the day, I also hit Enchantress manually. What I mean is, I didn't fly, right? I didn't use Soul Departure. So what is the point for me waiting waiting on that, on that, on that chair? <laughs> but yep, there is no Titan there. I'm still thinking whether Enchantress gonna come for the rescue with the curse but no there is no more no more tinnitus which is good for me and also i already used my first abnormal right hmm but as you can see there is prisoner and free so oh that's glitch after someone die it's a real thing guys yep this is prisoner come to me luca with the ass skin let me show you some quick tips here yeah. some quick tips yep gonna gonna stun me so when survivor want to loop around this kind of this kind of uh kiting location you know with barrels and everything you just need to make sure there is like a butterfly trap in the middle of them so you can dash dash through it and then hit them so you need to put like kind of in the middle so they cannot take that butterfly you are like doing you know like this trick to cut their way and then you just hit them take them down just like that I'm gonna show it another quick tips for you later, yeah, on this video. So the cipher <laughs> is only two now. I told you, don't trust early down, especially when you're playing Gisa. You are not clerk. Come on, you are not clerk. Clerk can control cipher really crazy on high tier though. A good clerk really, 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 really scary. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> they can, they can stop the the rusting of the cipher though. Anyway, anyway, back to this enchantress again. Huh, finally I hit Enchantress right away, but I'm not flying anymore. So I get I get three stack of curse. Let me show you another trick. Similar like the first one. See? So you throw butterfly in the middle when the survivor wants to loop you around like barrel or maybe like on the location with pallets that still hasn't been dropped. It's it's really a good or kiting spot to kite the shadow. I show it to you when I play in Professor and I can kite on that location uh, pretty long enough because that kind of location is good for Geisha. So how, how you as Geisha, uh, you know like countering Survivor is to throw the butterfly in the middle and cut their way like that. So hmm, I think I, I flew down way too early. Maybe I need to wait a little bit like maybe when the blood bar is around 97 until 98% and then I, I flew down. That's the best way. That's the best way. Okay, Luca, let's see it again. So obviously, Prospector will not gonna, you know, like take a risk and trying to give me more magnets because the Cypher still too. Maybe they're gonna find each other to heal. I guess so. And again, yeah, the real thing about when someone is dying, I mean, like flying goes back to the manor, especially for the first one, yeah. 
I can really feel that glitch though. So, on this moment actually I heard someone is healing. But I'm still looking around. Where where are they? There, there is no more tinnitus over here. Okay, let me just use abnormal first. I was kinda hesitate actually because when there are only two survivors and also two cypher remaining. Actually, I like to change to Peeper. Yep, I told you they are healing each other, right? But Prospector has has not been healed until full. Yep, because there is debuff for healing enchantress. I remember that this Prospector and also this enchantress is on the same team, so... I don't know, maybe they are on course for something, so they are letting each other know the location, you know, like to heal. Or maybe just using the minimap. So I bring my Desperate Fight Persona. When you see like Prospector, Enchantress, Forward, all the standard character you need to bring Desperate Fight Persona as Geisha. Desperate Fight will help you to get recover from the stun evac faster. Let's say they stun you with Magnet and then after that with Palette and then with the Curse. It's gonna get faster to recover. So, we know that Survivor like to click the anti-death button while hugging the walls like that. So you can do that trick. Tilt your camera angle, you throw the butterfly, they might think that you want to dash to that, uh, uh, to that side behind, beside the pallet, right? But no, actually you want to dash to them. After they are kinda has like a, a bit distance between the walls and them, you know? You know the terms hugging walls? I think, I think many of Identity 5 community players call it as hugging the walls to kite Giza. You know what? While taking the while taking the anti dash button again, I was thinking to change to Peeper. You know, change to Peeper so I know where is Enchantress and uh, because I know the dungeon location is over here. Most of the time, I'm gonna change it to Peeper. But then I was thinking Enchantress already has already has two stack of curse, so maybe I can use Excitement Leather to face Enchantress. I'm not so sure though. Actually, at this moment, I, I was really hungry. I remember it so. I'm not really, I'm not really uh, focused on the late game because I, I was thinking like, well, what should I eat after this? <laughs> so, I'm still waiting for the enchanters though. There's no tinnitus. I think obviously they are on voice call. Like the prospector is telling enchanters that yeah, 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 Gisa is still around the dungeon. You need to hide first, and then after that, no, 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 it's the right time. Just go, go, go. Maybe like that because there is tinnitus right away after the prospector died. And then, yep, coming to me or no, coming to me or no, yep, coming to me. And then, you know what, still waiting to give me 3 stack of curse, like, what are you doing? <laughs> and then I changed my to excitement a little bit late because I'm so hungry. <laughs> That's the video for today, I hope you get some insight. Don't forget to mastering the camera angle dash rate, it will be very useful. I see you again guys, bye bye!